And when we look at the ecological definition of a weed, we're looking at something that is a pest. It's just as we were talking before. It um, ha reproduces rapidly, grows very quickly, an opportunistic kind of or organism. It produces a huge number of offspring. And in the case of a weed, we're looking at something that grows best in a soil that lacks oxygen. Poor structure. Because when you're in competition with a plant that is not weedy, its root system is going to grow deeper. But if we don't have structure in our soil and we're preventing those roots from growing down deep, and now the weed and some other plant is competing with each other, the weed wins when we're in a soil where we're limiting how far down the root goes. So weeds reproduce rapidly. They grow quickly. They produce lots and lots of seeds and they disperse far and wide. And they do better under conditions of lack of oxygen, poor structure, compacted conditions in our soils. Here's the ecological definition of a weed. One more thing, high nitrates select four weeds, especially when those nitrates are coming in pulses. Not a constant, continuous amount of nitrate present in the soil, but pulses of high nitrate being released, which drop down, and then another pulse of nitrate. Which, of course, is precisely what we're doing when we're putting inorganic fertilizers into our soils. What are you selecting for when you put on ammonium nitrate or ammonium whatever? When you're putting on inorganic fertilizers, you're setting the stage for weeds. So think about your own soil. If you left your soil alone, what's going to grow there? And if it's weeds, then that's the ecological condition you've left your land in. If you left your land alone and it grows wheat, that's what you've set the stage to grow. So you have to start thinking yourself, what are we, what are we setting that land up to grow? Is it the plant I want to grow or is it a weed? Are we making the habitat most appropriate for growing the weedy species? So how can we go out there and how can we drop that nitrate level down so we don't get those pulses of nitrate coming out in the system? How do we go out into our soils and rebuild structure? So our root systems can go way deep and now the weeds will be outcompeted and will not be able to take over and be the plant that survives in that system. So we're going to address those weed problems.